aspirin injection to control the postprandial uh, glucose better and to avoid late uh, hypoglycemia. Uh, rapid acting insulins and regular human insulins are absorbed too slowly. Rapid acting insulin should ideally be given 15 to 20 minutes before meals and in real world settings many patients may use uh, either or no uh, gap between the injection and the meal and ultra rapid acting insulins which I will be discussing now uh, with faster absorption and more rapid onset of action versus regular uh, 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 insulins offer meal time uh, flexibility and ultra rapid acting insulin might reduce the need for the uh, time gap between the injection even further that was possible using the uh, rapid acting insulins. Ultimate goal is to increase patient's time in range by blunting the postprandial glucose excursions. Now, the molecule of discussion, ultra rapid insulin Lispro. So, what is the innovation in this uh, Lispro, uh, which makes it uh, ultra uh, rapid acting? Ultra rapid acting Lispro is a novel insulin Lispro formulation. It has two enabling expedients. You can see one is citrate, which uh, increases the local vascular permeability, and the other is. Uh, Triprostinil, it is prostacycling analog that causes local vasodilatation without causing systemic vasodilatation. So this is uh, what happens when you are injecting the Lispro and this is what is happening after you are injecting the ultra rapid acting Lispro. So here you can see the capillary permeability increases and there is a local vasodilatation. So pharmacokinetic wise what is the difference between the two? Onset of action of ultra rapid Lispro was 20 time minutes post dose 11 minutes faster than Lispro. So uh, clear 11 minute advantage Dur uh, during the first 30 minutes post dose ultra rapid uh, Lispro had three fold greater glucose lowering effect uh, compared to Lispro. Remember I told you in the start of my talk that uh, uh, the maximum glycemic surge post meal is uh, one hour post meal. So if uh, during the first 30 minutes, uh, ultra, rap uh, uh, ultra rapid uh, Lispro has threefold greater glucose lowering effect, then definitely it will control the postprandial glucose much better in a comprehensive way. Maximum glucose lowering effect of uh, ultra uh, rapid Lispro occurred between 1 to 3 hours after injection when it was most required. The total glucose infused during the clamp uh, was comparable between ultra rapid and the plain Lispro. So this is uh, the comparison of ultra rapid Lispro versus other rapid insulin analogs in patients with type 1 diabetes. So uh, here it is compared with ASPART, the FIASP the, and the Lispro. So here you can see when we are talking about uh, the insulin absorption, the mean insulin concentration versus time for first hour after injection. So the Tmax 50% was early with uh, uh, ultra rapid uh, Lispro. It was 5.9 minutes faster than FIASP. So it was uh, faster even than FIASP. 12.5 minutes uh, faster versus Umaloc and 13.9 minutes uh, faster versus no rapid. So this is uh, the pharmacokinetics which we are discussing. Now, does it translate into better postprandial control? So comparison of postprandial profiles to other prandial insulins and to healthy subjects. So here you can see the early postprandial glucose profile of ultra rapid Lispro most closely matched the glucose profile of healthy subjects. 
and the PPG excursions over the first three hours were comparable between UR uh, ultra rapid LISPRO and healthy subjects. Ultra rapid LISPRO showed the lowest mean glucose excursion during the test meal versus FIAS, VMALOG, or NOVA rapid. And uh, ultra rapid uh, LISPRO showed a numerically greater glucose lowering effect versus all insulins uh, with significant improvements in postprandial glucose excursions over the first five hours versus the LISPRO and the S part. So, key takeaways. The ultra rapid LISPRO showed the fastest insulin absorption, significantly greater early insulin exposure, reduced late insulin exposure, and a shorter duration of insulin exposure versus FIAS, LISPRO, and S part. And uh, ultra rapid LISPRO had numerically greater glucose lowering effect versus FIAS, uh, LISPRO, S part, and significant reductions in glucose excursions over 5 hours versus. Uh, LISPRO and S part. The early postprandial glucose profile of ultra rapid LISPRO more closely matched the healthy subjects than other tested insulins. So now I will quickly take you through the clinical evidence, the clinical trials of uh, the ultra rapid LISPRO. This is a type 2 diabetes trial and uh, in this uh, meal time ultra rapid LISPRO is compared to meal time LISPRO. And as I said, there might not be significant difference in HB1C. HB1C was absolutely comparable at the end of uh, 26 weeks. But uh, what made the difference was the ultra rapid LISPRO showed significantly better control of postprandial glucose excursions versus LISPRO throughout the postprandial glucose state from 30 minutes to 4 hours after meal. So, comprehensive postprandial glucose control was seen. There was no increased risk of hypoglycemia. And the adverse events were comparable between LISPRO and the ultra rapid LISPRO. And uh, I have already mentioned this, so I will quickly come to the evidence from type 1 diabetes. So, again, here meal time LISPRO was compared to meal time ultra rapid uh, LISPRO and post meal ultra rapid LISPRO. So, this was a three arm trial. And the result was meal time and post meal. Uh, ultra rapid LISPRO were non inferior to LISPRO for change in HBNC from baseline to week 26, and there was significantly higher endpoint HBA1C for post meal ultra rapid LISPRO versus LISPRO. So, uh, the ultra rapid LISPRO given immediately post meal had slightly higher HBA1C as compared to LISPRO given before meal, and the ultra rapid LISPRO given before meal was better than LISPRO given before meal. So, in other words, ultra rapid uh, LISPRO should be given before meal and it should be encouraged to be taken before meal and rather than post meal. So, there were uh, reduced postprandial glucose excursions throughout the postprandial glucose state from 15 minutes to 4 hours after meal and no significant increases in rate of uh, hypoglycemia. Safety profile were comparable and so, I will summarize my talk. Postprandial uh, glucose levels normally peak one hour after the start of meals and plasma glucose concentration usually return to preprandial levels by three hours. And controlling postprandial glucose excursion is essential for achieving glycemic goals and reducing the complication, particularly the cardiovascular complication in patients with diabetes. And uh, time in range is important for quality glycemic control. Postprandial insulin should match the physiological glucose control and ultra rapid acting insulins with faster absorption and more rapid onset of action offer meal time flexibility and more optimal postprandial glucose versus rapid acting insulins. So, key features of ultra rapid LISPRO are physiological glucose control versus other rapid acting insulins, PK profile versus uh, LISPRO plane that is accelerated insulin absorption faster onset of action. PK profile versus other rapid acting insulins, fastest absorption and great, uh, greater early insulin exposure in uh, circulation. Meal time flexibility, quick onset of action offers more meal time flexibility. And HbA1c versus LISPRO in type 1 and type 2 comparable control. Postprandial control versus LISPRO in type 1 and type 2 lower postprandial glucose excursions throughout the postprandial glucose state, not only the 2 hours post glucose, but right from onset of meal to 4 hours after meal, uh, the control was better. Time in range versus uh, LISPRO in type 1, additional 44 minutes of daytime time in range with uh, meal time ultra uh, rapid LISPRO without increasing the time in hypoglycemia.